Let's start off with today's haul. You might have noticed uh, my hair color is different. I did cut my own bangs. I was really going for the bottleneck look bangs and um, it turned out okay. I, I might have to go to the salon and just have have them touch up and, and just perfect it a little, but I like the way it turned out. I'm just having a hard time um, you know, because I've I've had my hair parted for such a long time for years so it's it's grown accustomed to that and so i i it, it's a struggle for me to to get like a full set here because of that you know that learned part but uh, i also colored colored my hair i bleached it and i did use um that color colorista bleach uh, and what I did was I decided to just go with just like a front section bleach so because I've been using black box dye on my hair it, it did turn the bleach did turn my hair a, a, an orange color and yellow so what I did was I toned it down with this this some um, ash ash um, br blonde hair dye and um, I ended up with this color um, I'm just it's it's a very it's a slow process for me I'm just doing like experiment experimentational uh, with it and I'm not in a rush I'm just taking it slow and I didn't want to do a box of bleach and then do another box of bleach so it's going to be a slow process for me but I'm okay with it so that's the update on my journey to, you know, grays and just really taking um, a slow approach to it. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll be able to, you'll be able to see the results also of that, that uh, do-it-yourself bottleneck bangs cut that I did um, because I'll, I'll have my hair down in, in some future shorts or up close and personals. So moving on to more hair products. Um, I purchased this off of Amazon and I, it wasn't, I, I didn't like how it, how it, um, how it worked with my hair because I have a longer length. The barrel is just too thin and the, the bristles are just too short. So it couldn't, I couldn't really grasp like the whole length. It, it felt like it was just coming out of the, of the brush but it worked perfectly on shorter length, like my short bangs. So this, I, I wouldn't recommend this for longer hair, but I definitely would recommend this for shorter hair. This really worked perfectly with my short bangs. So what I've been using, this is an old, uh, old hair dryer of mine. It's also by Conair. It's a uh, wild primrose and it is by Conair. And you see the difference. This is like a, a bigger barrel. So you're able to wrap more longer length hair around this versus you're unable to wrap longer length hair around this size barrel. Uh, yeah, so I, I really liked this. I just wanted, I've just, I, it's because I've had this for years that I wanted to experiment with a different style of hot airbrush but I, I do I, I, I am leaning towards like more of hot airbrush uh, with my hair versus blow dry and straightening. I did purchase this off of Amazon and it I would definitely recommend this for shorter hair hair lengths. Definitely a good product for shorter hair lengths. Another new item is this freckle pen, and this was an Amazon purchase. I do have this still, but this is just, it comes with a bigger, oh, applicator. And so you, you it does give you like 10 freckles with one application, but it's just, it's too broad. And I just wanted to have something a bit more um, precise and just a bit more, you know more controlled and so yes i got a new freckle pen i love far freckles i think it gives you a very youthful look another new product this month is my monthly scentbert perfume and this month my perfume is givenchy it is the givenchy perfume and it is the hot couture and this has scents of raspberry nectar 
Magnolia and Ambery Vetiver. I don't know if I pronounced any of those right, but this is my a perfume scent of the month. Givenchy's Hot Couture. And I like how they mailed it in this aesthetically, aesthetically pretty um, uh, tube. I still have my satchel uh, and I still have a little bit of my Versace and this is just so easy. This is magnetized. It detaches and it opens easily. I, I still have a little bit of my Versace perfume left in my tube. Perfume is the one luxury or high-end uh, item or product that I I do not skimp on. I, I could have everything, everything cheap in my life except for perfume. Definitely expensive perfume. Expensive perfume is is a weakness of mine and it's a there's just no no replacement for it for me. So another purchase, um, this is a target purchase are these sunscreens and these were on clearance at Target. They were like a dollar 48 cents each. They come in children's and in sport. And so I stocked up on these. I'm, I'm mailing them out to my daughter and my grandson. Um, they live on a tropical island. They're at the beach a lot. And I'm also stocking up for myself. Sunscreen, of course, is another obsession of mine. And I, I was just like really pleased to come across these clearance, $1.48. Uh, the kids' uh, sunblock comes in SPF 50 and the sport comes in SPF 30. I think I'd, I'd buy more of these for myself also, the SPF 50. And this, um, it, it sprays clear. It sprays clear. So it, uh, but the, the thing about it is, um, I wear contact lenses and I, I realized that mineral sunscreen, it doesn't sting my eyes at all when I, when I remove my contacts at night. And um, I'm one, and you know how you sometimes put sunblock on children and then they start saying, oh, it stings, it hurts my eyes. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna have to test this. But I wonder if this, this kid's sunscreen was made to kind of like help so I'm not sure if this is eye irritant friendly. I will test it and then I'll let you know. Um, but, and it does have a pleasant scent to it. So these were $1.48 at my local Target and they were on clearance. Yeah, um, let's see, what do we have next? Let's move on to uh, maybe fashion. So one of the things that I've decided to start purchasing are these patterns because I did mention that I am, I am going away for a year. I am moving back to the islands for a year. I'm going to renovate a couple of our houses. When I say ours, I mean mine and my, my daughter's. Uh, yeah, so while back on the island, I'm thinking of getting either sewing dresses, very simple ones that are suitable for the very hot, humid, humid climate. So yeah, I'm hoping to maybe sew my own dresses, just very simple. The island has a very tropical, a very humid climate, similar to Florida, I would say, similar to Florida, just extremely hot. And I just wanted to get into maybe sewing my own dresses and also just having a seamstress so extremely simple dresses for me that are suitable for the the island weather um everything is imported uh everything is imported onto the island and we don't have any major stores you have to order everything and have everything sent in but i wanted uh, a different take on fashion and i i do look forward to to living that uh adding this different uh element to fashion in regards to my lifestyle. 